All right, back for another beer review, and today I'm going to be reviewing a beer from Christian Moorline Brewing, and they're out of Cincinnati, Ohio. And this is their Big Hazy. So they're calling this a New England style IPA. Comes in at 6.2% alcohol by volume, 65 IBUs. And at the time of review, I don't know how old it is. They do have a canned on date, but there is a <clears throat> black trim here on the bottom, and the date runs into the black trim. I can't really even make it out. But I'd assume this is relatively fresh, and that's because this beer was sent to me by a good friend of mine and fellow beer tuber, Rod, over at Rod J Beer Venture. So thank you very much, Rod. I'll post a link in the description box to not only Rod's channel, but the beer mail unboxing video that I did for all the goodies that he sent my way. So this is the first beer that I am having from Christian Moorline. Never really heard uh, anything about them until recently. Uh, Rod mentioned them a few times, and uh, yeah, interested to get into this one. They have a bit of a spiel here on the side that I won't read, but they do say they're using a cosmic blend of Pacific Northwest hops, and uh, yeah, basically doing this style IPA. Let's get into it. I already rolled this one off camera, so I don't have to get crazy here on camera, but we will give it a pour and see what we got going on. Now, as far as I recall, I thought this brewery was more uh, lager-based. Could be wrong on that, but that's what I thought. So, yeah, that does pour out like a New England style IPA it has this. Now, on my camera, I've noticed that lately a lot of these beers have been coming off a bit different than they actually look in person. Uh, but this one has, like, this really nice bright orange color. It's probably going to be dolled out on camera. About a two-finger of a bright white creamy-looking head. Very filtered, very hazy. You can see some fine particulates in there. But yeah, it plays the role of the style they're going for. So let's get a nose. Hmm, very, very nice. So the first thing I can say is there's a lot of citrus here. More of like a ruby red grapefruit into like a lemon. Some orange and tangerine. It has like an acidic uh, underlying tone to it. Like it's not punching you in the face with uh, a ton of like acidic qualities, but it's definitely there. <sighs> Slight edges of like a resinous pine, maybe a ever so slight dankness as well. Yeah, this has like the, the OJ qualities that I've been getting a lot with um, beers. Uh, so many times when I drink a New England style IPA, I'm always like, oh, it's tropical, there's stone fruit, so on and so forth. Recently, though, I don't know if it's been a palate shift or just the beers I'm drinking, but I'm getting more of uh, citrus qualities to a lot of these now. There's definitely some mango, apricot, pineapple, uh, like a blend in here. But that's like the third or fourth character underneath all those uh, citrus qualities. And like I said, a little bit of that resinous pine, a little bit of dankness. It smells very enjoyable. So let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. And thanks again, Rod. Damn solid. Picking up on a nice malt base. It has, yeah, definitely a, a nice crackery malt base to it. Whatever malt they're using, it's just there to kind of carry the hops and not get in the way, but definitely a nice crackery malt base. As it transitions through the palate, those citrus qualities come to the forefront. Ruby red grapefruit, orange tangerine, more of, more of a sweeter uh, citrus uh, quality. It's not really uh, towards the pith or any kind of bittering aspect to it. As it finishes... A semi-dry finish, really no bitterness to speak of. Again, those acidic qualities that I was getting in the nose kind of carrying over on the finish. Almost like you just got done drinking a glass of OJ. The mouthfeel, here's where this one loses me just a little bit because the mouthfeel is not as soft and cream and luscious as so many New England style IPAs that I've been drinking you know, over the past say, year uh, have. It is slightly soft, slightly smooth, but not really. It's smooth, but not creamy. 6.2%, this is lower side of medium body, fine by me. Overall, um, this is this is a solid beer. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. Uh, it's not one of the more intenser, as Paul over at PA Brew News likes to say, bombastic uh, New England style IPAs that I've had recently. But what it makes up for in straight on, uh, you know, bold qualities, it makes up for with um, the drinkability of this one. 6.2%, you can't taste it, you have no idea. This almost drinks like a four and a half, five percent pale ale. Um, I would like more, uh, like I said, intense characters to this one. Lo losing me a little bit. 
um, just the fact that it's not all that complex or juicy or in your face, but it does have some nice qualities to this one. So as far as a rating goes, I'm going to give a big hazy IPA from Christian Moorline Brewing. I give it a solid 3.5 out of 5. Like I said, if you see this on the shelves and you are in Ohio and uh, you want to give it a go, definitely do so. Like I said, I don't know how fresh this is. I'd imagine this is probably, you know, two months old, maybe maybe two, two and a half months old. Uh, so still relatively fresh, probably under what they want, want you to drink it, usually three months. Uh, but at the same time, it's nothing that's going to, you know, blow your socks off or, uh, you know, do anything that you probably already have already uh, already haven't had within the style. So appreciate Rod sending it my way, and I appreciate you guys all stopping by for another beer review. And until the next one, cheers.